out, including that amazing match with Stefanos Tsitsipas. But first, Daniil Medvedev is going to be your opponent in the final tomorrow. What do you think about his game, and how do you think you match up with him? Yeah, uh, he's, a, he's an amazing player, uh, very young. We play juniors together, so it's been awesome to see him um, bloom as a player. You know, he's uh, got a very uh, unorthodox game. It's a ball very flat. Um, but we uh, played each other earlier in the year in Rome, and we had a bit of a battle there. So, you know, I think we both know what's coming, um, but super excited to be in the final. It's been an amazing week. Yeah, you took him down 6-3 in the third in Rome. You beat Stefanos Tsitsipas 7-6 in the third today, and our guys spent a little over two hours trying to describe exactly what was going on out there. How would you describe what went down in that match between you and Stefanos? Um, yeah, I mean, the first set, until I got up a set and a break, it was uh, pretty clinical tennis. I was playing really well and um you know a couple of things kind of threw me off a little bit and uh, obviously went a bit nuts and somehow was able to pull it back in the third set um but you know all props to steph he had an unbelievable week um he's a you know he's a perfect example for any tennis player um and you know he, his consistency shows every week he's he's doing all the right things and he's gonna have an amazing career brett haber and jim courier were on the call of that match on tennis channel jim courier joins us now and jim i know you got questions for Nick well we all Nick's my old stable mate down in Australia we've called matches together Nick congratulations that was one of the wildest matches that I've ever seen and that, you were going great what how did you change your mood there in the third set because you were obviously not in a great mood in set two what was it that turned it around for you in set three so you could finish so strong um, I guess I just uh, you know, tried to compose myself get a couple early holds in the third set and you know that's what I did you know I knew that it wasn't gonna be easy in the third once he found his stride, it was just we were going neck for neck to the tiebreak, and <laughs> five one up. I thought I had it wrapped up, and uh, I found myself match point down, and then somehow pulled it out. But again, it could have gone either way. I'm pretty sure the stats were ex identical. Um, yeah. We won same first serve um, points. We everything. There was nothing in, uh, nothing between us. So uh, it was a it was a it was a pretty fun one. Hey Nick, it's Jim. One last question. You're getting into this rhythm now of on match point, you're chatting with someone in the crowd, you're getting a little post-match point, you know, a hug or a handshake. Are you getting on-court coaching before these match points? I mean, if you want to call the public on-court coaching, that's pretty <laughs> sad for the rest of the tour. But um, no, I just go there and they just tell me where to serve. I just say, where do you want me to serve? And, you know, it's two from two. Uh, the other night, the young lady told me to go wide. I went wide and this, this lad here told me to go wide again. So I did it and all props to them. Hey, look, you said after Acapulco that you enjoyed yourself immensely down there. You went out, enjoyed the scene at night, and then came and played great, and you ended up winning the tournament. How's DC treated you so far? Uh, I've actually had a bit of a different approach. Uh, I've been getting uh, getting some sleep, um, you know, finding some routines. I'm really, you know, doing a lot of work off the court to try and find some consistent consistency day in, day out. So, you know, it's paid off this week. Uh, this earpiece is crazy annoying. But, um, you know, I'm just uh, I'm trying to be uh, more consistent. All right, last thing I need to ask you is about the forearm. How's, but you can take the earpiece out, by the no, way, if you okay. want. How's the forearm? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I've, had, I've battled some arm injuries my, my entire career. Um, nothing new. You know, I just got to manage it, do the right things, be professional, and it will be okay for tomorrow. Nick Kyrgios, ladies and gentlemen, into the final tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern. Okay.